Tell us about this, Richard. Well, that's a hummingbird, obviously. It's a black chin it, hummingbird. And it happens to be a male. Uh, you can tell because it's got the whole dark head. And it's called a black chin hummingbird. Uh, that's a very special bird for me. Really? Uh, very quick. We're going to talk about hummingbirds a little bit, but 20 years ago, 25 years ago, it was known that in the east of the Mississippi River, you had the ruby-throated hummingbird. That was it. That's all you had. Mm -hmm. In the western, western U.S., you had the black chin and the rufous further west. Uh, that changed with research that was done. I was lucky enough to get to participate in a little bit of it. And, uh, in fact, I was credited with finding the first black chin hummingbird in the state of Georgia. Wow. And... Uh, it was it was around Christmas time actually. It came to a feeder because I had my feeder out. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. Yeah. And it showed up. And what we had learned over this time with a lot of research is, when the birds start moving south, all of them don't go south to Central America. Some of them go straight east. Some of them go southeast. End up down into Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina area, and they spend the winter here and yeah. they survive here without big trouble. Wow. And we get them coming back year after year because we catch them check the yeah. band or put the band on them and subsequent years they come back, yep, it's a banded bird. It's the same yeah. bird. We see them living three or four years, which is a long time, yeah. at a feeder in the wintertime in the southeastern states. I'm sure that happens in other states. We know there's been sightings in New Jersey and other places further north. We don't know as much about the how well they survive up there as opposed to where it's a little more temperate mm -hmm. down here. But yeah, they're here. But that bird was special for me. Yeah, absolutely. Let's take one more quick look at it. I love it's, all the different colors in this. What were you going to say? Yeah. And this is by, let's see, Marla Sprightwell. Go ahead. It, I'm and sorry. And in this picture, it is a male. We're going to talk about this again in just a little bit, too, about the whole head's black. And it's called, oh, it's called a black chin. Well, actually, part of that front of under the chin area is actually purple. You really? just don't see it. It's like under the ruby throat, it's ruby red. Uh -huh. Well, not necessarily. It depends on how the light hits it. It is iridescent. Mm -hmm. So right now, you're not seeing light being reflected off of it, so you don't really get the strong hint of purple. Mm -hmm. But part of it right on the chin is black. You can see it, though, a little bit. You it can see like it a teeny can. bit, yeah. Uh -huh. If it was really lit up, it'd be a yeah. strong, bright purple halfway up the gorget, which is that area under mm -hmm. the bill. The rest of the way up toward the mouth area is, in fact, black. Wow. It's a black what chin. A, yeah. What a great Male, picture. of course. Adult male. Yeah. yeah. 